You're welcome to Cook to Live. Cook to Live is powered by Gas to Health Initiative. We talk LP gas, LP gas, and LP gas. My name is Darego Telema. And I am Collins Elono. On the program today, LP gas news. LP gas, what is in it for me? LP gas safety tips. LP gas, did you know? Testimonies. And feedback from a social media platform. You they go. I they rush to buy cooking gas and burner before I die. You come they waste my time. Cooking gas and burner. I beg, Madam Area, what you come consign that one? Come consign that now. My dear, I see GTHI people today. When come shine touch light for my eye. Hey, I won't use my hand kill myself. Oh, Mary, bye bye. Wait, 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 consign GTHI cooking gas and burner. We die now. GTHI now gas to health initiative. And then they preach how many people they use cooking gas instead of kerosene and firewood because the smoke where they come up from them no good for our body my people this nanditory where gas to health initiative carry come all that yamayama smoke where they come up when would they use firewood and kerosene no good if they kill us small small i beg make we try leave them they use cooking gas gthi efficient energy for healthy living this message is brought to you by gas to health initiative in partnership with ppmc and nmpc retail limited LP Gas News. And the latest news in the LP Gas industry, the Department of Petroleum Resources, DPRO, has vowed to set up the regulation of the nation's LP Gas market to curtail the rising number of unlicensed operators. According to the regulatory body, numerous marketers operate in the LP Gas industry without valid licenses thereby contravening the law and as well endangering the lives of potential consumers. This revelation was recently made in Lagos by the head gas DPR engineer Antia Ekalo during the 2014 annual general meeting of the department. LP Gas News. While making her speech, the Zonal Operations Controller of DPR in Lagos Zone, Mrs. Chioma Njoko, said the aspiration of the federal government was to sustain a robust economy, which can only be achieved when the LP gas fair thrives and boosts the nation's economy, and as we ensure a clean environment through safe applications of LP gas. She also asserted that despite recorded strides in the LP gas sector, there are still some pockets of irregularities to be addressed in order to ensure that the industry's success is not reversed. LP gas news. And on the foreign news, Greece has urged the European Union to set up an emergency liquefied natural gas supply mechanism to be activated this winter owing to the threat posed by electricity blackouts in Southeast and Central Europe as a result of the increased risk of cuts to Russian gas supply to the region through Ukraine. This appeal was recently made by Greek Energy Minister Yanis Maniatis while making a proposal to European Union member states to list secured and potential LNG supplies from October 2014 to February 2015. He also requested the EU to specify how much LNG will be available for the re-export to other member states and how much is expected to be available over the period in the event of a crisis. According to the Greek energy minister, domestic demand will be particularly urgent in January and February during the peak winter demand period which could lead to additional spot volumes being sought whereas Greek spot buying could increase further to meet import demand from neighboring Bulgaria. Mr. Yanis Maniatis said that the risk of a rapid increase in LNG prices for delivery to the region as a result of a transit crisis would give rise to simultaneous strong demand from buyers in the region for cargoes for immediate delivery. In the first quarter of 2014, North Asian spot prices exceeded $20 per million BTU. The European Commission is currently conducting energy security stress tests to ascertain and improve the level of preparedness for potential disruptions to energy supplies this winter 
and the outcome will be presented at a meeting of the European Council in October. And that's it from LP Gas News. LP Gas News. Over now to Collins for LP Gas. What is in it for me? Thank you, Telema. What's in it for me? I'm glad to be here today to talk about LP Gas. What is in it for me? And today's focus the industrial use of LP Gas. What's in it for me? LP gas is widely used for many industrial applications such as process heating, propane cutting, and welding. It can be used to power machinery such as forklifts. It can also be used in powering industrial ovens, kilns, and furnaces. LP gas can be used in glass, automobile, and textile industries for glass blowing, paint drying, and surface coating. What's in it for me? What's in it for me? Finally, it is also used in the electronics industry for TV picture tube manufacturing. This is what is in it for you today on Cook to Leave. Tell them uh, what do we have on safety tips today. Do not expose your cylinder to the scorching heat of the sun. Do not expose your cylinders to where temperatures are extreme, such as the interior of cars. Do not expose your cylinder to where it could be subjected to artificial or reflected heat sources. Your LP gas cylinder is designed to be filled to capacity while leaving a 20% of space called haulage to cater for the expansivity of the gas. Overfilling of cylinders should be discouraged as this could result in internal expansion of LP gas, thereby heightening the possibility of an explosion. Caution should be exercised, especially in a society like ours where sharp practices by dealers or clientele pressure may lead to dangerous compromise in cooking gas safe handling that's it on safety tips today collins what do you know thank you telema did you know did you know did you know that lp gas is stored under pressure as a liquid in a gas bottle did you know did you know that it turns back into a gas when you release some of the pressure in the gas bottle by turning on your appliance did you know did you know also that a regulator ensures that consistent pressure is safely delivered from the gas bottle to your appliance did you know now you know telema indeed now we know okay my favorite part of the program testimonies from those who've been beneficiaries of the gas to health initiative outreach program testimonies my name is Yellen Lane and uh, I stay in Compasses near uh, Bill Road, along Bill Road in Compasses. I have been a, a beneficiary of this LPT in many ways uh, because it has really helped me because of the program I attend. It has helped me to be able to talk to women like me in rural areas has been telling them the importance of uh, LPG and they are complying. All of them they are very very happy about it. So many people they love it. They come along. They benefit also from me. So I'm very grateful. I thank God for you people. Testimonies. Uh, good afternoon. My name is Mrs. Victoria Uwato in Biobanco. I work with last year also. I reside at Wayanke area, Abakusa Road, Ibadan. Ibadan. So, my view to say about using gas, I can see lots of benefit in using gas. You know, it saves cost, saves energy, it saves your cooking. You know, there are a lot of things you can derive from using gas. Yeah, lots of things, lots of advantages, your pleasure, you know, you like yourself by using gas. It saves cost, it's faster. You know, I love using it. I can't, I dare my pleasure in using it anyway. Testimonies. Oh, my name is Hadiza Nagas, the Chinese. You can just use Hadiza the Chinese. Since I started using the gas, it's uh, for me, I, I live, we're just two in our house right now. 
it's been very economical for us compared with kerosene. I was using kerosene before, but so far the gas has been really economical because it lasted us for so long. It's an 8.3 kg. I think it, it lasted us for like maybe over three months, but not that's not the case with kerosene. The kerosene doesn't last that long. Then it's also clean and everything. I don't have to worry about scrubbing it the way I have to wash the stove and bring out all the thread. None of all that. So it really saves my time because uh, I don't have to worry over the weekend about how to clean up the cylinder. And then the next part of it is that it's very fast, you know. Uh, it takes a shorter time for me to cook than, you know, when I was using the kerosene. Even though it's still the same fire. But me, I just kind of noticed that the gas is somehow faster. Thank you very much. <laughs> This one where you just cut your eye. Now what did be the matter? But Junior, I don't tire for this cooking thing. The first one of firewood, this one of kerosene stove. It's not a hell of a matter at all. Oh. What did be the matter? Abba Mako, this kerosene will have too much for me. Oh. I don't tire for this cooking thing. No. Eh? I don't want to die. Oh. Ah, when I never hear. Here yeah, waiting. waiting. When I never hear of cooking gas. Cooking okay, waiting. waiting. Not be that big man thing. Cooking gas, not be big man thing. No. It's there for camp gas. It's there for table burner. They get down for oven. Never finish your cooking gas, they're cheap, if they cook fast, you know they bring thickness for body. And you know they carry Nyama Nyama Empire of the month. My junior, I don't know say you they cook fair. Everywhere just yeah, like they say nothing they happen. Ah, Papa Junior, now that's cooking gas where you buy for me. I don't make sure you get every day cooking gas. Now you be go. This message is brought to you by Gas to Health Initiative in partnership with PPMC and NMPC Retail Limited. Now we are on the feedback segment where we take your responses from our social media platform. Supergirl Tomidi writes, Nigerians should take advantage of what Gas to Health Initiative is doing and stop endangering themselves with smoke that comes from firewood. Miriam Cavagna says LP gas is clean, efficient, and reliable. Please switch to LP gas. Kosan underscore Chris Plant writes A switch to LP gas would minimize air pollution and save many lives in Nigeria. And um, from Lady Elena UK, we have that's awesome. Thank God for thoughtful hearts like you who are creating better and healthier futures for everyone. And El Murphy writes, LP gas usage should be encouraged in Nigeria and Africa as a whole, as this will help reduce health risk and climate change. Automotive Space writes, my advice to Nigerians is for them to switch to LP gas because it is safer and causes less pollution than firewood and charcoal. Telema, if you look at the responses we are getting today, you discover that most of them are talking about switch to LP gas. I know that Salah is fast approaching. Don't you think that a bottle of 3 kg, 6 kg and so on could be the ideal gift to give to your neighbor? Of course. What better gift than a bottle of LP gas as Salar is approaching? Hmm, to go with the Rams, I will definitely vote for a bottle of LP gas. Thank you very much. You can send us a tweet on twitter.com slash gas to health. Visit our website www.gastohealth.org.ng Or you can send us email on gthinitiative at yahoo.com gthinitiative at gmail.com Or you can give us a call on 09-291-5232 or 807 9586587 Like us on Facebook and also drop your comments facebook.com slash gas to health You can also listen to previous editions of our program Cook to Live on youtube.com slash gas to health Thank you Program Coordinator Mr. Benedict OG Producer Ndubisi Ikbaga Many thanks to the Board of Trustees Gas to Health Initiative Capital FM Abuja 92.9 I am Darego Telema And I am Collins Elonuk <laughs>